Okay, so what are you making? Kind of an apple peach crisp, but it's going to be an crisp. experiment. What's a crisp? It's a pudding with um. With a topping. With a topping. I so a pie without a pie shell. Yeah. Okay. It's called crisp because the topping crisps up and it's a fruit crisp. Most people know it as apple crisp, but... So you got apples? Beat up, a beat up apples. Beat up apples. A can, a jar of my canned peaches. Okay. Oh, sorry. Ooh. You canned them in the August? Yeah. What's this stuff? This is almonds. I had you grind up, not into a flour, just sort of a coarse, coarse mealy bit. I ran them through the grinder with a coarse blade. And some oatmeal, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use, and some brown sugar Splenda and cornstarch. Not that much cornstarch? No, not quite that much, but... And that's the pan you're going to do it in? Yeah. I've never seen that pan before. It's a silicone oh. pan which sort of is flimsy so yeah. it doesn't sit very well and this is a spring bottom pan that the bottom comes out and when you put it in and lock it it it's for making things like cheesecake that you want to come out and look pretty but it holds that very nicely okay so I'm going to use that and, so, and? But like I said, it's going to be an experiment because I want to make it lower carbs than if you use oatmeal and brown sugar and butter. So in other words, you're going for something somebody with diabetes could eat without too much problem. Yeah, I'm going to use almonds and a little bit of the oatmeal to absorb juices and, okay. absorb juices and make it nice. So... The first thing you're going to do now is peel and chop the apples? Yep. All right, we'll come back Ready? after. Okay, you got your apples all cut up. Apples are chopped up. This is just some cornstarch. It helps absorb some of the liquid if, if they're too wet. My mother used to use either cornstarch or tapioca pudding. Um, the tapioca for baking pudding into the bottom. Okay. Well, I don't think we've had tapioca in years. We haven't. <laughs> so, you sprinkle that in. Sprinkle a bit of cinnamon. And then you add the apples. So to just all those apples you peeled and chopped into chunks? Yep. They were getting beyond their best before date, so I wanted to use them up quickly. Okay. And now I, I'm going to drain my peaches. Just spread them in on top. They could have gone on the bottom or whatever. Or mixed all the way through? Or mixed all the way through. I'm not going to add any sweetener to this at all because I don't think it's necessary for this. Aww, but I like sweetener. I know. But since you're getting the treat of the pudding... More cinnamon? More cinnamon. Gotta have lots of cinnamon. Yes, I agree. Okay. Now I'm gonna take... I think I'm just gonna sprinkle it on dry. I could have made a slurry out of it, but... What's the difference? With a slurry, I'm adding a bit of liquid. But I think those apples are awfully... Juicy? Juicy. So. So this is just to soak up the juice? Yeah. And it makes kind of a jelly? Not really a jelly. More like a sweet gravy. Okay. 
And now comes the fun part. What's up? What's the fun part, dear? Mixing the topping. Oh, fiddle. What are you fiddling? I hmm. forgot the butter. Butter? You margarine. put butter in? Margarine. What's the difference? I prefer margarine. Some people <clears throat> get very upset if you say use margarine. And but I prefer margarine, so... Okay. But you can use either. Butter or margarine. And there's a sink full of dishes, so I'm not turning around to show that part, portion of the counter, right? <laughs> You're learning, dear. I've had enough experience. And if you use melted margarine, it's... In the microwave. Yeah. I'm just going to use a little handful of the oatmeal. For Show me pan, how much a little handful is. About that much. Okay. Usually, for a pan this size, I'd use about a cupful. And that's what, about half a cup? Not even that much. A little over a quarter cup, I think. Okay. And now, I'm going to add the almonds. Does it matter how many almonds? Whatever you feel like. So this is another one like Danny's? Ah, whatever. Who taught Danny how to cook? Well, that's true. Okay. Ouch. That's a little warm. Paper towels better. You're right. That thing's no good. Watch yourself. I'm coming through with hot stuff. Okay, just set it down here. Now, you can use um, melted margarine in here or melted butter or just room temperature and mix it in. But I'm going... Aren't you going to mix the butter in first? I'm explaining that. Oh. I'm just putting the dry ingredients on top. thing about having the shakes. When you're trying to shake this on, it's not a big deal. Okay. <laughs> ah, you don't leave anything on the spoon for me to lick. Oh, no. Hey, when I was a kid and baking with my mother, it was, I got to lick the pots and pans. I know, this is almonds, butter. No butter yet. Well, that blob was. Almonds, oats, and sugar. That sounds like a breakfast cereal. That is hot. And then you just drizzle this over the top. See, that's why I was wondering if you mixed it in first. You can, but you don't have to. And then it's ready for the oven. Okay, the oven, the oven is at has, 350. The oven was preheated to 350. And this cooks for about half an hour. And I'll bring you back when it looks better than that. Okay, so preheat to 350 and then set for half an hour.
Alright, we'll come back in half an hour. Okay, let's take a look at it. It's not browned up. No, I'm going to put it on broil. And that might brown it up a bit. Okay. Okay. So that's five minutes on the broiler? Both four minutes. <coughs> I checked it and it was starting to get a little too dark. <coughs> yeah, I'd say. It looks a little brown. Just there. The rest is all good. Okay. Now I let it sit for about 20 minutes and give it, get you to try it. Well, I'm the guinea pig, eh? Well, I was going to try it now, but... <laughs> You don't like it hot, so... Well, that's true. Much better cold. Okay, so we come back in 20 minutes. Alright. Okay. It's time to try it out. Uh, please put that bowl down before you throw it away. <laughs> There's what the underside looks like. Yes, dear, you'd make a very good martini <laughs> shaker. And there's the top. Now, you could put this with ice cream or whipped cream, but Don doesn't really care for either, so I didn't make any whipped cream, and I don't have any ice cream in the house right now. So this is your experiment. Yeah. And how does it hold up to one that has lots of oatmeal for a crust? <laughs> I prefer the the traditional, but if it keeps you around a little bit longer, I'll go for this. Okay. I thank you for it. So give it a try. Since you have the camera. Open wide. Yes, Mommy. <laughs> Pretty good. Not sweet enough, though. Oh, well. More sweet next time. Okay, say goodbye. Bye.